Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Your personal chef is here. I am not talking about me, folks. I'm talking about Nagam. You've seen her on the show several times. Just the sweetest lady in the entire world. Culinary Unleashed. That's where you can go to find her website, culinaryunleashed.com. She will come to your home. She will cook delicious meals for you, just like she's going to today. They're healthy and they're delicious. And nutritious. And nutritious. <laughs> How do you do it? Because I think a lot of people will sometimes say, oh, it's healthy. It's not going to taste as good as I want something to taste. So I think uh, the key is to add a lot of good ingredients that are available, wholesome spices and herbs. If you introduce that to your kitchen, just don't stick to what, what the spices would say if it's for poultry. Put it on your fish, put it on your vegetables. If you mix around certain ingredients, I think you will get good results that are very promising to your palates. So that's what I do normally, and colors. I add a lot of colors, and I think that's the key to you know healthy, nutritious, yet delicious meal. So There's a lot of color yes. in, our, in our little palette today. What, what are you making? What's the traditional dish called? It's called mashikusa. Mashikusa, <laughs> which in English, or in, I guess in America, it it's would be what? stuffed zucchini, okay. basically. <laughs> so I get these zucchini guys from my um, uh, Arabic Mediterranean store. It's called Holy Land. It's in Cleveland on West 117. And they always have good Arabic traditional and organic stuff that I get from them. And look how small they are. You don't find them this color mm -mm. or this, you know, at regular grocery store. So what I'm going to do, basically, I am going to carve them and then stuff them. The stuffing that I created is lamb and burgul wheat, and it's burgul wheat number four. And this wheat basically comes in different grains. So it could be larger or it could be smaller. It depends what you're cooking it with, right? <laughs> and then, so I sauteed the lamb. I reserved the broth because I'm gonna use it later. And then I added the burgul wheat, and I added a little bit of spices, and I added pine nuts. The spices I used, so here are the pine nuts that I used. Mm -hmm. And then I added allspice, and the allspice has um, saffron, it has coriander, it has cumin, it has nutmeg, and it has um, cardamom and cinnamon and paprika. This is lot rolled into one. sage, yeah, this is um, sage, saffron, and um, grass, uh, um, lemongrass, and this is garlic, and I have paprika here, and this is saffron and garlic, and um, um, what is this? So she uses so many, she doesn't even know right. what spices she's using. <laughs> Parsley. Because <laughs> a lot of these spices, what I do, I grow them and then I dry them I and I crush it. them. So these I, I keep whole because they add a lot of texture to the dish. And these are the spices that I use here. I'm going to use a little bit of it when I make the, the uju, which is the sauce that we're going to soak these in and cook them in. Can we the final real result. quick kind of show how you would carve? Yeah. Because I feel like carving these would sure. be the hardest part. So watch the knife part. here. And here is what we're going to do, right? You cut this. And I brought two of these. It depends how you're uh, going to carve it. A lot of times to get it to stay so it won't crack because it's so fresh, try to put it under hot water. So these are soft or leave them outside night before. And then gently try to take one Look how of easily these you do that. Yes. So then I will use the thinner one so I can curve it all the way through where you would not break the inside. Look how beautiful. And you and keep simple. doing that until you create enough room for the stuffing. And then that's then what you keep the stuffing. I keep the, the middle, stuffing. I should say. Yes, because it's so healthy for you. You shouldn't throw it away. And I'll tell you what I use with it. Then what I do, I poke holes in the zucchini to allow some of the uju to go inside and cook the content. Though the contents are cooked just because it's meat. Then what I'll do, I'll take these guys and I stuff them gently. By hand. By hand, because you cannot use a spoon, and That really. would be too impossible. You'd break yes, it. Yes, you break it. You crack it. And so then, what I will do, take this guy here. I knead the head. So I will we'll clean it. And this is what goes away. We don't keep that. And, you'll, and then I cap ah! it. You twist it the other way, just like yes. you would a, a wine mm -hmm. bottle. And you cork it back together. I cork it back so <gasps> the content stays look? in and then you spear it. So if you want to try one, Natalie, you can do that. Well, how about this? For, you don't I'm going to practice. No, I, no, I'm going to, <laughs> but I'm worried I'm going to cut a finger off. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be back in the kitchen with her. We're going to be all, all hour long. And um, I'm going to attempt to do this while we go to uh, David real quick. Sure. And, and then we'll show you and see what mine looks like. Sure, so we it. can prepare it and then uh, we'll show them the end result. I'm ready to impress guys. David. All right, David, yeah. this, is, this is all for you. <laughs> 